Yeah. Chapter 1, verse 5. Sally and Billy had been best friends since before they could walk or talk. Their mothers lived next door to each other and took turns babysitting so the other could work or go out with friends. They also shared a bottle of a bottle or box of wine or two most nights. Sally and Billy understood that they could do as they pleased as long as they didn't cause trouble for their mothers. Trouble was one of their favourite entertainments. Luckily for the mothers, Sally and Billy enjoyed keeping their entertainment to themselves. In as much as no one really knew the culprits causing the trouble, Sally and Billy never took their troubles home. They didn't have many friends at school. They were too freaky. Sally was not really ugly, but she was too clever for her own good and no one liked that so much, so they made fun of her and called her Fishhead. It was just her hair that never sat right and looked a little like fish fins. Not all, not all laughed at her head. Some laughed because they were a little nervous. Not everyone mocked her and she did have a few friends, other freaks. Her best friend Billy had wings on the side of his head, much like Sally. Wings were not quite as good for swimming as fins, but almost because they were loon wings. And a loon is a great underwater swimmer. That was Billy's story. They both enjoyed the odd smoke since they were very little. They learned from their mothers but they couldn't be taking cigarettes from their mothers, so they had to steal them. Stealing from stores wasn't so easy, what with cigarettes being behind the counter and kids always being watched. There were other ways to steal cigarettes. Sneaking into backyards was one way, also good for a bottle of beer or some chips or a hot dog left on a cold grill. Another way to steal cigarettes and other little things was to break into cars and pickup trucks. Billy was good with computers and mechanical things. He could take a pile of broken things from the street and build a radio or a little amp and speaker for his guitar that he had stolen from behind a bar where it was waiting to be put into a van. Their favorite game was stealing cars. They didn't try to sell them, they just wanted the cigarettes, the spare change and the odd chocolate bar whatever they found, and a short joy ride. This was their entertainment on the night that everything in their life was seriously interrupted. Sally and Billy had stolen a car and become wonders of science and medicine.